Did you know that making your thumbnails in Canva or Photoshop could be the reason that you're not getting the views that you want to on YouTube right now? Or maybe you didn't realize that your thumbnails don't need to be beautiful, they just need to be effective. Well, those two things are absolutely nothing because by the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you five thumbnail myths that if you believe in these or you're still making these mistakes, it's a reason you're not getting the views that you want to right now on YouTube. So myth number one is that your thumbnails need to be beautiful. This couldn't be further from the truth because here's the deal. Whether or not your thumbnails need to look good is really going to be dependent on who your videos are showing up against. If you're in a niche that's not that crowded and everybody else's thumbnails are bad, you don't actually need to make thumbnails that are that good in order to get views because what YouTube really wants is not thumbnails that are beautiful, but instead thumbnails that are effective. And what this means is that you're getting over a 10% click-through rate. If you're not hitting at least 10% click-through three, it's the reason your videos aren't going viral. But don't worry, if this seems really far away or really hard to do, by the end of this video, you're going to know everything that you need to shift and everything that you need to change in order to make this happen. Because you could have this happen no matter whether or not you're a designer or you've never used design tools before in the past. Now this leads me into myth number two, which is that Canva and Photoshop are the best ways for you to be able to create thumbnails. And I'm also going to lump paying somebody on Fiverr into that because here's the deal. Using tools like this is a complete complete waste of time in 2025 and paying somebody on Fiverr to make your thumbnails is a waste of money when you could use new AI tools that literally just came out because there are advancements in AI now that allow you to make thumbnails for YouTube that are effective, actually get you clicks, and it doesn't require you have any design skills to do that. Creators like you are wasting so much time, wasting so much money, and wasting valuable energy because they think that creating good thumbnails comes down to having good design skills, but that's false. Creating good thumbnails actually actually comes down to having good data. And that's exactly why I use Virathumb in order to create my thumbnails. Because Virathumb shows you exactly what thumbnails are actually working right now in your niche so that instead of recreating the wheel, you could actually use those in order to make more effective thumbnails that allow you to go viral on YouTube. Because Virathumb is literally going to help you recreate viral thumbnails, which means that you have no more guessing of whether or not something's going to work, no more waiting on somebody else to make your thumbnails for you, and you definitely don't need any design skills in order to use this tool. You simply pick the style, the structure, and the text, and Virathumb is gonna go ahead and create a high-performing thumbnail for you. Here's how it actually works. Okay, so here's how Virathumb works. You could come over here and get inspired by successful thumbnails. If you wanted to go through, you could come over here and scroll through a bunch of different successful thumbnails for a bunch of different niches. You could come over here and do a search for the title of the video. For example, if I was going to make a video about the YouTube algorithm, I could type in YouTube algorithm and it will show me the best performing thumbnails for my niche. Or if you wanted to copy a specific video thumbnail or a specific creator, you could just post in the YouTube URL right here and it will actually pull it up. I'm going to come back over here to search right here, type in YouTube algorithm, and what I am going to do is grab this one right here. And what we can do is we could grab the background to this or we could face swap this if you wanted to add your own face on here. Now, if you're gonna use this face swaps feature, you wanna make sure you're doing three things correctly. First and foremost, you need to upload 20 images of you making different faces in order to train their AI to make it really good. Secondly, you need to make sure that you're only face swapping other videos that have a face that's pretty similar to yours. And third, you wanna make sure that you regenerate it a few times if it doesn't work the first time because sometimes it does take a few tries. But for the sake of this, there's no face on it, so I'm just gonna click back. Background. And now this is going to go through and in minutes, this is going to create an AI thumbnail that is based off of this one. And while it's doing that, we could come through here and actually continue to scroll. You could see that there are tons of other th different thumbnails that we could use here. And this right here literally proves this. Most of the videos that show up here, look at this. This video, this video, this video, they're basically all different versions of the same exact thumbnail. And another thing that's great about Virathumb is it actually shows you how many views each of these videos got. So you could judge your videos based on that. Okay, and now look at this. This literally would have taken somebody probably hours to do inside of Photoshop, but we could see that this went through and literally just recreated this. So the only thing that we have to do now is come over here and add some text that says strategy one, strategy two, strategy three. And as you could see right here, you can draw things in. You could add in images. If you had an image of yourself or a logo or something like that, you could add in different shapes and you could come over here and choose exactly what your text is going to look like based off of a bunch of other different types of text that work already on YouTube. And this is how people are creating thumbnails in seconds instead of taking hours. 
And just like that, I went through and actually made a better thumbnail. If we look at the original right here, we could see that this text is white, so it doesn't really pop too much. I changed that text to yellow in just a few seconds. Now I have a thumbnail for my video, literally in just a few seconds, that is an effective thumbnail based on something that's already gotten over 100,000 views for somebody else. So if you're ready to stop wasting hours of your time designing thumbnails or paying other people to make thumbnails for you, I strongly suggest that you go to the pinned comment below and get started with ViraThumb today. This is the secret AI tool that's going to allow you to create thumbnails that actually help you go viral on YouTube without any design skills. Now mistake number three that you're making inside of your thumbnails is you're not opening up any curiosity gap. And I have several different examples that I wanna show you of exactly how you could do this because it's really easy to do, but probably the most powerful thing that you could do with your thumbnails. Okay, here are three different ways that you can invoke curiosity. The first way is doing something like what we did in this thumbnail right here for Dr. Jones. He's gotten 11,000 views in just two days, and the reason is because the thumbnail says, Doctor reveals the best peptides. It shows you sleep apnea, fat loss, exercise, and a pill, but what you'll notice is we took the name of all these bottles and blurred it out. What does that do? Make somebody say, what on earth are these things? And then they need to click on the video to watch in order to actually figure out exactly what's going on. And we've actually done this several different times. Another one here, never mix this with Ozempic. We put Ozempic in coffee. Again, make somebody asking the questions, why can't I mix it like this? Or how to inject Manjaro for maximum results. Same exact thing over here. This alludes that they're actually injecting it the wrong way and it's why they're not getting the results that they want. If we come over here, we could see that on my other channel, I have done this several different times. I'll do things like what I did right here, automate any task for free, and then just have the logo make somebody say, wait, what is it? Or this one right here, seven insane Manus AI automations. Again, I have a use case gallery, but they're so small that somebody needs to click on the video in order to figure them out. Or we'll do something like hidden chat GPT features, connect to any app, take over your screen, remember everything. And what you'll notice is we actually spelt remember everything wrong in order to invoke curiosity, get somebody to click. And that's why people are watching these videos and they're getting so many views. And then a final one is going to be what Graham Stephan does, the $78 Tesla. Makes you ask yourself, how on earth did he get a Tesla for 78 bucks and it gets people to actually click on the video? Or something like this, Mr. Beast broke. People don't think Mr. Beast is broke, so that then sets off an alarm bell in somebody's head and evokes curiosity to get them to click on the video to find out what on earth is happening. And then mistake number four is using YouTube's A-B test feature when it comes to thumbnails. I would strongly suggest that you do not do this for thumbnails. You should be doing this for titles, but for thumbnails, you're gonna wanna skip this feature until YouTube goes through and actually fixes it. And I know this might not be a very common thing that you hear, but that one feature on YouTube is actually broken because what they're doing is they're not choosing the thumbnail that's getting you the highest click-through rate, which is the purpose of a thumbnail on YouTube. Instead, they're choosing a thumbnail that's getting you the most watch time. And this is actually gonna hurt your views because you could have really good watch time on a video, but if the click-through rate isn't really good, it's gonna be the reason that you are not getting the reach that you want. And I see this over and over again with small channels, so please, if you see that A-B test feature, just skip that. Instead of using that, if you ever upload a thumbnail that doesn't do well, just change it out manually and actually just swap it and let it sit for a few days, that's gonna do a way better job than you A-B testing something back and forth all the time. Because think about it, if you're A-B testing with two different thumbnails, 50% of the time, you're always showing a worse thumbnail. And like I was saying before, what it's actually measuring, what a good thumbnail is on, is actually going to be the wrong thing. So you'll probably have to go in there and change it out manually anyway. And then myth number five is that you need to recreate the wheel every single time that you go to create the thumbnail. This couldn't be further from the truth. You can recreate your own thumbnails several different times. You can recreate other people's thumbnails several different times. In fact, if you go through and look at my thumbnails on YouTube, I literally have not taken new thumbnail photos in like the last six years. I created all those photos back in 2019 when I first started on YouTube and I still use them, but I just change out the format. Let me explain. Okay, now in terms of not reinventing the wheel every single time, I wanted to show you several different ways that you could do this. For example, let's look at a lot of these thumbnails here. If we look here, same photo right next to each other. If we look here, same style right next to each other. If we look here, same type of thumbnail right next to each other. And all of these videos have gotten at least 64,000 views, all in the same style, 
all in the same format. I'm just changing out what's actually showing. And again, it's not only me that's doing this. If we come over to somebody like Mr. Beast, we're going to see the same exact thing. So if we click on his videos and then we come over here to popular, what are you going to notice? $1 versus a billion dollars. $1 versus a hundred million dollars. The same exact thing's happening. If we look at this one right here versus this one right here, same exact thing's happening. And essentially what he's doing is he keeps recreating the same type of thumbnails because they clearly work. The same exact thing here. $1 versus $100 million, or somebody trapped in a circle, or some big luxury thing going on behind them, he keeps doing the same thing over and over again. If we come over to somebody else, Dr. Jones over here, and then we come over to his videos, we're going to notice the same exact thing. If we filter his videos by popular, we see this style, this style, and this style, all the same exact thing. Or maybe we look at something like this, this, and this, all the same exact thing. This is what the biggest and the best creators are doing on YouTube. So if you're doing anything other than that, you're recreating the wheel every single time you upload a video, it's why you're not getting the reach that you want. Now, if you're ready for the YouTube algorithm to finally notice you and you want your work to finally pay off because the last thing that you wanna do is waste your time uploading content to YouTube to find out that your title was wrong or your script are wrong or your thumbnail was wrong, well, I personally wanna help you. In fact, I wanna guarantee I can help you grow faster on YouTube by telling you everything that you need to do to finally make your dreams come to reality. If you're ready to take action and you finally wanna get the views that you deserve, subscribers you deserve, and get monetized on YouTube, I personally wanna help you. In fact, I want to work with you one-on-one -on -one to guarantee I can help. If that sounds interesting, well, please check out this video right here. It walks you through the three different ways that we can work together and I can guarantee you grow faster on YouTube so you finally have that YouTube channel that pays you every single time that you post or whatever vision you have for your channel. I'll see you over there.